There's that sound again. That sound. I hear it. But I don't know if it's in my ears or in my mind. I don't know if it's inside me or outside. I don't know when it was or who it was either. Is that important? Was it? Who was it? I used to think life was like a book. You turn the first page and there's the next. And as you go on, turning page after page, eventually you reach the last one. But life is nothing like a story in a book. There may be words and the pages may be numbered, but there is no plot. There may be an ending, but there is no end. Left behind, like a sculpted tree on the vacant land where a rotted house has been torn down. Like the water in a vase after wilted flowers have been removed. Left behind. But then, what of me remains here? <sighs> a sense of tiredness. I was always tired. There was never a time I was not tired. Not when life had its claws in me, and not when I escaped from it. I did not live with intent. I only lived. But that's all over now. I watch slowly, like always. It's not the same scene, but it's similar. Somewhere in this dull scene, there's pain. In this seemingly familiar time, there are moments that hurt. I look closer. There are lots of people. Each and every one different. Each and every one with different minds, different faces, bodies, and hearts. I know that, of course. But seen from a distance, they all look just the same or similar. Each and every face looks like nothing so much as a small pool of water. I'm watching for myself on the day I first set foot on the platform at Wayno Station. In the throng of people waiting for the Yamanote Line inner loop train to arrive, I used to look at my appearance reflected in mirrors, glass panes, and pictures, and I had no confidence in myself. I do not think I was especially ugly, but I never had the kind of looks that would have attracted anyone's attention. My reticence and incompetence troubled me more than my appearance. The worst of all was how unlucky I was. I had no luck. I hear that sound again. Just that sound. Like it's blood coursing. Like a vivid current flowing. Back then, I heard nothing but that sound. Rushing around inside my skull. Like there was a hive in my head. And hundreds of bees were trying to fly out all at once. It buzzed and burned and hurt. I could think of nothing anymore. My eyelids twitched and trembled, as if they were being hit by raindrops. I clenched my fists. All the muscles in my body tensed. It ripped me to shreds, but the sound wouldn't die. I couldn't catch it and trap it, or lead it far from me. I couldn't close my ears to it, and I couldn't get away. Ever since then, that sound has lived with me. Lived? 